Love and the Sun premiering this Monday at 8, 7 central right here on Hallmark Channel. Here to tell us all about the summer romance is the man himself. Sean Christian is here. Wow, wow the man. Oh, that's an intro. Oh, wow. 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 But it's true. Well, I mean, thank you very much. Thank if you. you're going to get a guy to tell you about summer romance, I'm sure uh, you know, our one. viewers will be very it. happy. I'll take it. I'll dive in. I'm diving in. <laughs> And you know about this story because you came, you came up with the story. I did, What's actually. I wrote this? this story based on an experience I had in Hawaii. And, you know, got picked up at Hallmark. And I was so proud to be a part of it. I'm like, wait, yeah. you kept all these wonderful beats in there and these wonderful moments. Because there's a great romance, of course, right. with yeah. the younger kids. I'm the old guy holding it down. You play uh, the dad. I'm the You're dad. Play. The old guy? I'm the you old wrote, guy. And you came up with the story as you being <laughs> the old guy? I'm like, look, I got to fit in here somewhere. <laughs> But the, the beauty is there's sort of a father-daughter, okay. you know, relationship, and she helps her father find love again, which is a really nice, nice. flavor. And I'm like, oh, they kept that in there, which is gorgeous. Well, it's okay. not just father finding love. Yeah. It's a father maybe redirecting his daughter's idea of love yes. when she comes back to visit her dad. Is yeah, that right? because she came up. I mean, part of it for me was like, look, how do we find love nowadays? And there's all these digital apps. And I'm like, that can't be how you find real love. And so, of course, in the story, my daughter creates this wonderful app. She thinks she finds the man of her dreams. And then she comes to the island and sees me, and I don't really have all my life together. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, but you, this isn't how you find love. You have to find, have a real connection with somebody. Right. Of course, on her journey, she oh. sees her you know, romance from way back. And she has to discern whether it is the app. Because, you know, I'm like, there can't be like an algorithm. She thinks right. there's an algorithm to love. To love. And I'm like, well, that can't, that can't be right. Just in life, in general, that's sort of the, you know, the inspiration for it. And I'm like, well, let's see, you know, if I start writing and see where I come up with and where I go, um, because I personally believe you need to have a human connection. I completely. Uh, I mean, am I wrong? I mean, uh, I, I could don't be wrong. See how you could have love without I, it? I don't, I don't know how I'm you just... can fall in love like this. It's a <laughs> right with thumbs. To me, no, yeah. Yeah. So I think you need to go. You delve deeper into there, and of course, she discovers that on her journey back to. Nice, to see your father, yeah. Well, we have a clip where your daughter is um, announcing the big news to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found Mr. Wright, so to speak. You're not so happy about this. Let's take a look. So happy that you're home. Me too. Same gorgeous view, huh? It never gets old. But you know what's better than this view? Oh, what's that? I'm getting married. To the banking golfer? Dad. I'm sorry, I meant the golfing banker? Dad! What does that look? It's just, um... I, I, you're... Congratulations! You're engaged! Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh. Now, when am I gonna finally get to meet Evan, hmm? Good question. Uh -huh. oh. Wow, that's oh. true. I mean, listen, I mean, my big takeaway from that is that you've got something against golfers. Uh, no, 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 no. Bankers. Banking oh, golfers. Okay, yeah. okay. To be clear, I'm golfing bankers, I can't yeah. remember which one. That was a very sweet scene. Very Thank sweet. you. It was very sweet. And I remember even on the day going, well, okay, the director was like, Rich, who I love, but I did an amazing job with it. He's like, hey, yeah, you're, you, you, she is your daughter and she's getting married. Let's, let's little hide it a little better, you know, because you are happy for your daughter. Right. Of course, you want her to be happy ultimately. But you were happy-ish. Happy-ish with a ba banking know. golfer, wouldn't you be? I mean, come right. on. You know, so I think that for me, I was like, all right, I'll just dial that love in a little more. And then you did. Sweet. You could absolutely tell that you were happy, but you were a little hesitant at the same time. Yeah, Because yeah. you know her true love yeah. on the island. I actually dropped, I remember we doing dropping a bag on the moment, and the crew was all, <laughs> I was like laughing, like, wait, cut. cut. Because it was just sort of, wait, what? we're not doing that broad comedy. Uh, <laughs> a little too much. A <laughs> little too much for that moment. You're like... Okay. You gotta try Happy things. As an actor, right. you gotta try things. You never know. I mean, it could have been great. All the right? time. You know, I do that all the time. When yeah. I work with someone, I collaborate with somebody, I'm like, look, let's give it a shot. Sure. If it works, great. If it doesn't, yeah. you know, we'll try something exactly. else, but at least let's put it out there. So the, the film was shot in St. Petersburg, Florida, but yeah. as we said earlier, it's based on your experiences living in Hawaii, the yeah. big island of Hawaii, Kona. And having lived there, you really got to experience some things that none of us as mainlanders would ever have an opportunity to experience. Yeah. One of them being, I saw the photos earlier this morning, my oh, yeah. goodness, these waterfalls. That was an amazing experience. I met these people who live in this YPO Valley, and he goes, you want to see this amazing waterfall? I'm like, I, yeah, I'm in. Right. Guy grabs a machete, and, and, I, and he just hacks his way back towards this waterfall. And we, we get there. And he's like, you want to do something really, really cool is go underneath the waterfall on the other side. There's this small little cave. And I get on the other side of this little, like, cave, and I'm hunkered in here. 
and then there's this wall, this water wall. And I'm literally like shaking. It is so wow. exhilarating. And you have one of these moments, you know, when you, you know, we, we can have these beautiful right. moments when you're someplace and whew, took a deep breath. I'm like, this is a piece of paradise. Yeah. So you had that one guide taking you to the yeah. waterfall, and then you had another guide, a vulcan, a, a vulcanist, <laughs> yeah. is that right? Say that three times fast. Come on. Volcanologist? Vol Volcanologist? No. I don't know what it is. Cameron? A volcano <laughs> expert <laughs> yes. who took you to a, uh, <laughs> an unbelievable experience there. I mean, a volcanologist sounds like somebody who's an expert in Star Trekisms. Yeah. Right? That's. It's kind of where you do, where you go initially, you know. I knew I'm, I was gonna get that wrong. You got it though. No, 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 you got it. You nailed Did it, Cameron. I get it? Yeah. Totally nailed it. A volcano expert, tell us about. But it. that's exactly it. I'm standing. I hike onto this midnight uh, hike on the uh, volcano national park. Two-hour hike. You go out there, and I'm standing on the cliff. So you watch the the lava flow into the water, and the waves hit it. It's like this beautiful explosion of, of steam, and this volcanologist, um, and he goes. You shouldn't stand there because the earth gives way. It, this is, island is growing every second. Wow. I'm like, note to self, what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> Volcanologist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm like, you got it. He goes, you really want to experience something cool. Um, and he was with the other volcanologist. He goes, put these asbestos boots on and you can go closer to the lava because it's like a little uh, stream, basically. So I get by this little lava river and he's like, you want a picture? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, put your foot on the lava. Now, it's not like a river rush, right? And, but don't press down. Just kind of put it there I'm like, and take a picture of your foot. Wow. I'm like, nobody's touched the core of the earth. You know, I'm just, so I'm just all ant. You know, you can, I'm already reliving it. Yeah. We've got two more segments. I can keep going. <laughs> but uh, yeah. what an amazing series of stories. And no wonder this inspired this great script. So thank you for sharing yeah. these, man. Thank you, man. And congratulations on this movie. Go ahead, Dave. Well, well, you started off by saying he's the man. And I mean, <laughs> honestly, he, that, it paid off. He You're the man. Disappoint. You. He did not disappoint. You are the man for sure, Great Tom. to see you. Don't miss the world <laughs> premiere of Love in the Sun this coming Monday night at 8, 7 central right here on Hallmark Channel, everybody.